What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Able Uprising Podcast. I'm here with Mason, Alpha, Aso, and Lane. And today we're going to be talking about World War II and Ability 4. World War II, I haven't played any of it very much. I've played the beta for a little bit. And the, some of the content, or a majority of the content, or some of the content that we're going to be putting out for Able is going to be a lot more... We're gonna have some stuff with COD. We're not gonna have like the top plays and stuff like that because that's just boring as hell. And we're not gonna have like the top trick shots or whatever that other teams do. Um, sort of like what we used to do with Black Ops 3. We're not gonna have, for if we, it's kind of hard to say, I don't wanna give too much information, but for ability, it is gonna be happening. It is, we don't have a set date, or we do have a set date, but I just don't wanna give it to you guys yet so you guys can kind of be hyped for it. We will be releasing that date a couple of days before, but. Um, it will be happening in December, so that's all. I'll give you guys the month for it. Ability 4 will come out in December. It's not going to be a Christmas team Taj. It's just going to be um, the Ability 4. It's not going to be a return shit. It's just going to be the straight Ability 4 because we left off on Ability 3. And we actually left, but with all of the stuff coming in from Ability 3, it's not going to be like, or all the stuff coming in from War 2, it's not going to be like another Call of Duty montage. We're doing a lot more different stuff in the actual Taj itself, so it's not just like, Oh, it's just another fucking team Taj. It's a really, it's gonna be a different, like, series montage kind of thing. So it's not just gonna be clips with music over it. It's gonna be something more than that. And I can't say too much about that now because I don't want to let you guys know. But eventually, during the month of December, um, you guys will see it'll be coming out. We'll give you guys a little warning or a little preview of it before it comes out. Like, hey, this is it's coming out on this day. Get excited for whatever. I haven't even talked to half the guys on the team about it yet because a lot of the stuff that we're doing for it is kind of behind the scenes and I can't really share the information about it. But what are your guys' opinions on the release of the ability for? Honestly, dude, all I know is I'm getting a clip in that fucker. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I am, no though. you're really not, though. I really am. No, I am, you're not. Because oh, the, you, the only thing you've hit was a quad feed when it was shit. Okay, hey, hey, no, that was that was good. That was no, good. No, no, there's not gonna be any quad feeds in the fucking ability for. I'll get a five be minute headshot. Well, I'm out, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking We're gonna get fucking ass. six collats. <laughs> no, I mean, okay, so a lot. Okay, when we did leave off, or when we did kind of leave the cod scene, I guess you gotta say leave the cod scene. A lot of people took it the wrong way, as if we were. Like, I can't even explain it because it's so fucking stupid what people actually thought we were doing. But the thing is, after we kind of left, a lot of other teams began to start to leave the COD scene. But I've been looking at World War II and a lot of people have been inter interacting with it. But the thing is, the reason why we're coming back is not okay, so we can just start putting out more montages for you guys so you guys can enjoy it more. But we're implementing something new to it to try and get like a little shape, like a shape, like a little shifter to. I guess you could say the community to kind of introduce something new to potent to like potentially help revive it and because obviously the community is like not doing very hot right now. I think World War II is definitely going to help the community. I mean, it'll definitely help, but what we're doing with it is going to be a lot more cooler. I'm the only one. I'm the only one in this Discord that actually knows what I'm talking about because you guys don't know, and I'm not telling you guys yet. But shady. We're doing something that's different than oh hey, here's some. 30 clips with from World War II with our snipers and some music over it. It's going to be something more than that. You guys know that we are going to be coming back to, um, I guess you could say the COD scene. or we're gonna, I wouldn't even say the COD scene because we're not coming back to the COD scene in a sense. We're kind of just coming back to our solo montages. We're not going to be having introducings. We're not going to be having player episodes. It's just solely going to be the ability things. And then we might have like um, Halloween team tages or... Uh, Christmas things or things for rebirth stuff like that with rebirth with the ability stuff for those right collide together We might collab with those two things. It really depends on how it folds because right now I can't really say too much about it because I don't know how it's gonna be in the future, but we will be combining rebirth and ability to kind of like Shift its own thing. So like most of you guys now rebirth is its own little thing that we have with the charity things which is gonna be launching launching really soon so we're gonna be having our first rebirth stream very soon with a whole bunch of challenges and perks and a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can get rewards from it and ability will be its own little thing it won't just be like a little montage series so it'll be its own little like 
It's hard. This will be a, like its own little division in a sense. I almost think it's like, like because ability. I like that we're uh, you know keeping it you know ability core, but like ability in the past was you know like sniping montages. So it's like almost as if I feel it should be like called something else. But I don't think it yeah, would be. Yeah, that's I don't how I feel. It, I, but I don't feel like there's anything else that like we could call it that would you know really you know. I really be like. Good. I don't know. I just Place really like the name of that we have it. I, yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I love the name, but it's just I don't know. I feel like just because it's going to be such a different thing, it's going to. It's like um, I'm trying to think of an analogy for it, but I, I really can't right now because I'm dumb. But okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> like if you, if you can understand what I'm trying no to say. No one else has done something like this. So like this is like like this is brand new. Like there's not anything that we're gonna be releasing for ability four. It's not gonna be like ability three. It's not gonna be like ability two, and it's not gonna be like ability one. It's a completely different type of shit that no one's seen before that we're gonna be introducing. So. It's not, like I said, it's not going to be Call of Duty and Montage Clips, so... Yeah, we're just trying fun. to... We're just trying to branch ourselves out from all those other teams that do, like, the exact same thing. I mean, we're you... are just trying to be different. You could say that, but the thing is, I'm kind of talking... This is the first time I'm kind of talking to you guys about this. Even the people in Discord, especially to the fans that are watching the video, but the people, even the guys in Able, don't even know what... Like, how it's going to be operating, so... It's, it really is only just me that knows, not even Duke knows. So, I'm that's kind of wild. the only person that's working on it as of right now, and I'm just contacting a whole bunch of people to try and get it working. Um, oh, snipers, who we're going to be having, we, uh, we're we not going to be releasing that roster right now. We're not going to be releasing a roster at all. They'll just be in the team Taj. We're not going to be introducing, oh, it's October the 30th or whatever. Welcome our newest trick shotter. Welcome our newest feeder. We're not going to be doing shit like that. I'm telling you, it's a completely different style. It's a completely different movement, I guess you could say. But it's just not the same shit that every other team is doing. So I'm just saying get ready for that. And I mean, there's not very much to say to it. All you guys need to know is it's coming out in December. And it's going to be really fucking different. So, Big man things. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what else? Let's see, what else can we talk about? Um... I'm not planning on. I'm not even planning on buying World War Two. I don't know. Unless, unless it's on like sale, like a big sale, maybe like on G2A. But other than that, I'm not really planning on doing it. I doubt that thing would ever be twenty bucks. Maybe like forty. Last I'm time I really considered buy buying a Call of Duty was Black Ops Three, and I really like Black Ops Three. But after that, I just didn't see anything like prominent to surpassing Black Ops Three. Like World yeah. War Two. That's probably gonna be pretty good. I wouldn't know. I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty. Yeah. I don't know. I know Alpha and Nubs are probably gonna end up buying it. Oh and yeah, 100%. If you guys wanna see, obviously Nubs and then we'll have content and stuff like that. A lot of the directors will be using that. So once that game comes out, if you guys wanna see World War II content or World War II gameplay or whatever, just go to their channels. All this, like, I, I mean, um, all their channels is down in the description. So if you guys wanna sub to them, or anyone in the podcast, you guys can do that now so you guys can be prepared for that video where those videos actually do come out. Um, when we went to Twitter to ask you guys for uh, the topics and what we should do for episode 9 this episode, um, we also left a thing for you guys where you can say your choice. And we had one from Flo, and it was PUBG. Um, he did mess with me previously about a, like a PUBG esports. Um, we're not going to be doing... Right now, we're not gonna be doing PUBG esports as of right now. Um, I'm honestly, I'm honestly really curious if I've seen a couple teams pick up Fortnite teams, but I'm curious if there's gonna actually be leagues Ooh. for Fortnite. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't know because I don't, I, I, re I just can't see that game in esports. I don't know why. Another one was from Fast Fias, and he said another RC. Our next RC will probably be, um, I can't even tell you honestly. It is gonna be another Are You Able? But don't expect the next Are You Able to happen for, for a like long a long time. And there will be other opportunities where you guys can actually join off of and get into the team. Um, soon, not, I don't really know. There's not, I'm, my main focus right now is what I'm working on is ability and working on that and getting the, the subject of ability set so it makes sure it's perfect. 
it's really awesome it's different next rc i have no idea when that's going to be it could be a year it could be two years i don't know it could be i really don't know it could be next fucking month i don't know but i really doubt that it's going to be anytime soon because that's not really one of my focuses right now but like i said there will always be opportunities for you guys to join like if you guys ever want a chance to join the dms on able are open so if you guys want to send in some of your work if you're a designer um if you guys want to send in some of your content if you're a youtuber or streamer just dm us on twitter and we'll check it out we'll always respond to you guys and we'll check it out and we'll see what you guys have and if we're interested we'll let you know if we're not interested we'll let you know but as of right now there's not gonna be another rc for uh i'd say a decent amount of time so do they like do the people know about we might be getting a cod team or is that uh COD yeah team? actually for um Okay, the newest, nearest event is Dallas, right? The near, like, closest yes. gate. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to be going to Dallas. We might, there's a, like, it's a 50-50, it's up in the air right now. We're talking to a couple teams. We might be going to, um, or me and Duke and a couple of their guys will be going to Atlanta. Yeah. I really want to try and get a team before Atlanta, which we have, we have time, we're fine. But, yeah, there, 80% chance, 90% chance, we will have Able Cod, uh, like a competitive esports Call of Duty team. For MLG Atlanta, so and also if you guys want to meet any of us, any of us there by that time, we'll always tweet on Twitter. So if you guys want to meet us or whatever, but that's like five months, so who knows how the progress is going by then. But also October fifth, we did release our um, breast cancer awareness shirts. So I just want to say uh, thank you guys for all the support those. We sold about I think it's like ten or eleven. We've raised like two hundred plus dollars or like a, maybe just about two hundred dollars for breast cancer. So that's awesome. Thank you guys for all the support on that. And all those proceeds are being donated. So all that money is being donated to the American Breast Cancer Society. So I want to say thank you guys for the support on that. I don't know. All I know is that we're going to have a COD team mass, like a very good chance for Atlanta. So we'll obviously be speaking more on that when it comes to that time, when it comes more soon to that time. But for right now, we're just going to leave it at that. So we did touch on Rebirth a little bit uh, during the podcast. And we're going to be doing a lot more for it especially with stuff with ability and rebirth will be working together as well as we have something new that we're introducing it's gonna be called reverse archive and i'm not gonna say too much on it now because it didn't get too many votes so you guys obviously don't want to hear that much about it but in the future when it comes time like i said previously with the cod like the call of duty thing we're gonna be talking about reverse archive more basically it's a um it's kind of hard to say I'm just gonna say it's like a third person vlog and I'm just gonna leave it at that because there's not very much I can say about it. But it does obviously have to do with Rebirth. And if you guys don't know what Rebirth is for some reason, it's our charity division of Able. And we basically use it to do charity streams. Um, the breast cancer thing we're doing where we raise over like $200 is a part of Rebirth. Um, anything that deals with charity and us helping, I guess you could say people in need, it, a lot of that stuff comes with the rebirth side of able and we have a lot majority of stuff that we're working on that i haven't released yet that's gonna be coming out for rebirth um ability being one of them rebirth archive being one of them um our charity streams coming back being one of them and uh, random stuff like our uh apparel like the breast cancer apparel where all proceeds that we make from it as a, a part of uh rebirth basically but for now there's not very many things to talk about because we're working on a lot of things behind the scenes. So I do want to thank you guys for watching episode 9 of the podcast. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do a like. And if you guys are not subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. Because when we have Ability 4 come out, and if you guys want to see any updates or anything that we tweet on Twitter, make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. It's just at Able Uprising. You can follow us on Twitch. It's just Able Uprising. You guys can connect with all of us down in the description. Everyone else in this podcast. Thank you guys for watching this podcast. Make sure you guys use code Able on Rogue and Perform Cloth. Other than that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. It's been Able Aso, Mason, Alpha, and Duke. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.